一个平平常常的日子。细蒙蒙的雨丝夹着一星半点的雪花，正缝缝领领的向大地飘洒着。司令一快到景致，雪当然再不会重临，往往还没等落地，就已经消失得无踪无影了。黄土高原严寒而漫长的冬天，看来就要过去。带来整整温暖的春天，还远远的没有到来。No, finding a job would be this difficult, <laughs> brother. That's my back. I'll just take a look what's inside. Don't worry, I know it's yours. You're here in a job hunt, but you have school bags and books. You're really different from the others, you know. <laughs> Why am I different from the others? We're all just sitting here waiting to sell our labor. <laughs> hey, sweet rocket, you came early today. I prefer coming at the right time than early. Right, of course. Some people get picked. The minute they arrive here, some wait for an entire day, and no one even bothers. Brother, your last name is Rocket, and your name is Sweet. <laughs> That's a very interesting name. Look here. See this car above my left eye? If you look closely, it looks like a Sweet Rocket flower. That's why these guys call me Sweet Rocket. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Uh, you were saying just now that some people get picked immediately, while others sit here the whole day and no one bothers. Why is that, my friend? They pick migrant workers who are honest, capable, dependable, and very skillful. Because of my scar, they don't hire me. They say I like getting into trouble. Too bad, right? Five days. I haven't had a job in five days. <laughs> anyway, look at me. Do you think I'm an honest man? You? You're too honest, all right. Hey, do you know anyone in Wang Yuan County? Yes, you can say that. It's just that I don't want to ask for their help because I want to make it on my own. You need someone to go with you when you're looking for a job. You're all alone and you don't want to ask for help. You're like a headless fly bumping around without direction. I'll bump then. Let's see where I end up. Gather around, guys, and eat oh. burgers. Pick me, hey, sir. Pick, pick me. me. Right, Please, sir, pick me. Sir, pick me. Oh, I'm the one I'm looking for. Okay. Please, pick me. Oh, yeah. You. You. You and you. You. Pick me, boss. You. <laughs> You. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, boss. Oh, wait a minute. Can you take another person? Take my brother along? How about it? I already have enough. Please take him along. He's educated, you know. Educated? Uh huh. Big deal. He can't use that as leverage. You really want him to come along? Swap with him. You willing to do that? Yeah. He can't go. I said I already have enough. Let's go. Wait, boss. <laughs> Sir, wait a minute, boss. It's okay, brother. You can go. Go on. Oh, I'm telling you now. Go and find a place to stay right away. It's hot during the day, but it's freezing at night. All right? Okay. Hey, wait up! Thank you. Excuse me, sir. <gasps> May I have a drink of water? Sure. Have a drink. 
Mister, do you know where Mashun is staying? I know Mashun. It's the third house towards the east. Oh, the uh, third house toward the east. Yes. This is really sweet. <laughs> it's really good. Thanks. Sure, you're welcome. Excuse me, is this where Uncle Mashun lives? Yes, and you are. Oh, I am Mashun. Who are you? How do you do, Uncle? I'm Sen Xiaoping, the son of Sen Yuha from oh, Wang Yuan. Oh, yes, I know who you are. <laughs> of course, you're my nephew. <laughs> come on, come on inside. Make yourself at home. <sighs> you must be tired. Have some water. I'm okay, I'm not thirsty. What did you say your name was? Are you Xiaowan or Xiaoping? Xiaoping. I'm Sen Xiaoping. Xiaowan is my elder brother. <laughs> You're a young man now. You know, our families used to meet up before. But then your mother passed away. So we stopped meeting up. Oh, uncle. This must be my aunt. Oh, yes. Address your aunt. Uh, how do you do, aunt? I'm fine. Ma Shen, isn't it time to get water? Hold on, aunt. Allow me. I'll go get the water. Oh, wait, hold on. Don't bother. You don't know where it's the okay, well is. It's okay, uncle. I know the place. No, I passed by the don't. well when I was on my way here. I know where the well is. I'll go get it, uncle. What nephew are you talking about? I've never heard of this poor relative. I tell you, he's just here for free food. Whatever you say, I won't allow. <sighs> Can you speak a little softer? Uncle, your water jar is already full. You start helping us with the chores the minute you arrived. Come down here, take a break. It's okay, Uncle. I'm not tired. Do you have other chores? I'll do them for you. You're afraid we won't take you in, right? Since you've taken the initiative to help us with chores, I apologize for saying that. Anyway, Ma, he seems like a smart boy. Uncle, Aunt. I apologize for coming here unannounced. You see, I've come to Huang Yuan to look for a job. I came here just recently. I really don't have a place to stay. I'm sorry to inconvenience on, you both. You don't I'm have really to sorry. Worry. Um, you said you came here to find work, right? Yes. A uh, machine. The branch secretary's family is furnishing a house. You can take him there. Oh, that's right. See if they need anyone. <laughs> well, do you have any skills? I don't know anything. I'm just an unskilled worker. Two years ago, someone from our hometown said you were teaching in the village. You see, unskilled workers are given tough work involving moving rocks. So, can you take it? Yes, of course. Uncle, please don't tell them I was a teacher. Okay. Well, let's get going then. Okay. Come on. Wait, your things are still here. Leave them. He may not be able to live there. Come on, let's go, shall we? It's best if he could bring it. I said just leave them! Secretary Cow! Secretary Cow, I've brought an unskilled worker. Are you still hiring people for your house? We started work a few days ago. We already have enough workers. Secretary Cow, I would gladly work for less wages. How much are we talking about? They hire workers in the city at four yuan a day. How much do you pay for your workers here? I only give them two yuan a day. I'll take one yuan fifty. One yuan fifty? Yes. They're already complaining that two yuan is too low. Ugh, forget it. I'll pay you two yuan a day. I just want one yuan fifty. By the way, Secretary Cao, does this include board and lodging? Yes, it does. You can eat together with the others during mealtime. Your lodging is at the open house not far from here. Uh. The wages of the others also include food and lodging. At one yuan fifty, you're losing out. Not at all. Secretary Cao, this is the first job I've got since I left home. I appreciate it. I'm willing to work for any wage. Okay, you can stay in the open house tonight. Come back here in the morning. Okay, great. Uh. Thanks, Secretary Cow. Thank you. Wait. Mashan, when will you pay for your unpaid funds and admin fees, huh? 
I will need a couple more days, sir. Once the corn has been harvested, I will pay you. You know what? You're the sword who pays last year's this year, and this year's next year. You love to delay things. I don't have any money, sir. I would have paid it if I did. Please don't tell me you're broke. I know the circumstances of each family very well. Heh. <laughs> hey, Mashan. Take this worker to the open house so we can take a look. Have him settle down. Okay, no problem. Come on. Thank you, Secretary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary. Hey, you. You're such a fool. Unskilled workers have the toughest and most tiring work. They are also paid the least, you know. To you on a day's the lowest of the low, my boy. Why just ask for 150? Uncle, don't worry. I'm sure I'll endure it. You should prefer more than less. Be smart. See what I did back there? I delayed. Payments for my fees. Did he do anything to me? I don't have work experience. I'm afraid I won't do well. Even if he were to recruit me now, because he's doing you a favor, he'd still fire me if I didn't perform the job well. By then, I'd most likely still bother you, Uncle. <sighs> Come on. Let's go and take a look at the house. Let's arrange a place for you to stay. Bring your things over and stay there tonight. Okay, thanks. Right. It's not that I don't want you to stay with us. I'm just concerned that you'll feel uncomfortable there. Yeah, yes. Uh, careful. I'll be fine on my own. Uh, I know. Brother, can you please move over? Move over, please. Can you just move inside? Go find a place inside. Go on. Can't you see I'm sleeping? <sighs> Sounds of snoring and farting, teeth grinding. One on top of the other, smelly feet, sweat and socks tank to high heavens. If Mr. Jow were to come here, he won't be able to take it. I can't believe this. like home because there's so much warmth but I can't go home no matter how good it is I have to persevere no matter how hard it may be a man capable of great achievements doesn't backtrack
Sen Xiaowan, the visionary, moved quickly when the policies changed and immediately seized the opportunity to act. He took the initiative to start building up the family's fortune. The firing brick kiln with the billowing black smoke was the envy of so many. Sen Xiaowan had gradually risen to become the most high-profile figure in Shuangshui village. Tian Fu Tang, Xin Junshan, and the rest, those stars of the past, had begun to somewhat fade in the eyes of the people. Oh, come on, Why? stop messing around! Uh, and you, would you like some water? No, I'm working. I'll drink Back later. Back to work, then. Xiaowan, how much can we make from these four kilns of bricks? One kiln is about 7,000. Four kilns, four times seven is 28, so 28,000. 28,000? Oh my goodness, it's that much, Xiaowan? Good heavens, woman. Not 28,000 yuan, okay? It's 28,000 bricks, Xiaolian. Then be more specific. You gave me a real fright. Let's see. After deducting the cost of transportation and coal, the wages for Haimin and Fugao, and of course tax, we'll make approximately 2.5 fen per brick. About 700 yuan or more. Just around 700 yuan? Too little for you? Not enough. What? How about this? After the bricks are done tomorrow, we'll fire another batch. No way, we can't do that. Summer's already here. Besides, Father can't work in the fields alone. Well, I disagree. I can fire the bricks while you tend to the fields. Don't make trouble. It pains me to stop firing bricks too. But I guess we don't have any choice, do we? Uh, I have an idea. What idea is that? Divide the family. Oh, come on, you should rest, rest. my foot. Oh, come on. Good. Let me at least give you a massage. Xiaowan. A woman is a man's home, all right? And a man is a woman's child. You should listen to me this time, all right? Whatever the case is, don't mention dividing the family again, okay? Will you give me a massage or not? I'm going back to work. Go hard. You bet. Look, Shawan. Not once did I argue with you. I accepted everything you've ever said. I have put up with you for years, but there were times when I was unhappy too, you know? I've watched you fight tooth and nail to support this wretched family for as long as we've been married. I care about you so much, that's why I didn't want to give you more trouble. How is the family different now from what it was before? It's different now. I don't want that life anymore. I've given birth to a boy for this family. I've also relied on my own labor to support this family. No one can deny that you've contributed a lot to the family. Then tell me, how long are we going to assume all of the responsibility? Your brother, Xiaoping, he just waltzes off to Wang Yuan to wander the world and enjoy his life. There's so much work at home, it's just you and me and we're already dying of exhaustion. But no one really cares for me. Everyone praises you for being virtuous. I don't need people to praise me. When Xiaoping was still young, I didn't say anything at all. But now that he's a man in his 20s, what does he do? He abandons the old folks and the young and went off to enjoy himself. I'm really disappointed that he's gone to Wang Yuan. I just... Uh... To be honest, I'm also sad that Xiao Ping had gone to Wang Yuan. But I can't control him. Xiao Wan, I know very well that if I mentioned dividing the family in our first two years, this family wouldn't have been able to last one day. But it's different now. The policy has changed. Having enough to eat isn't a problem anymore. Isn't it all about having enough to eat for the elderly? But it's different for us. We're both still young, Xiaowan. We're not going to settle for just that. We want more than having enough to eat. We also oh, want so to live a comfortable Oh, so you want to live a comfortable and good life, huh? The others don't matter then. Father doesn't matter, Grandma who's so old doesn't matter too, and Xiaoping and Lan Shang, they don't matter? Don't you ever bring this up again. I've had enough, Xiaowan! If I spend my life full of uncertainties, I'll lose my dreams and aspirations. If you won't divide the family, live with them! I'll have my hooks on my own! <laughs> I didn't realize you're so vicious. How dare you argue with me? So what if I argue with you? 
Aji said that women can hold up half of the sky. I'm half the master of this household too. Why can't I live my life the way I say? Brother. What are you doing? Give it to Brother. him. I dare you to hit me. Hit me! Huh? Get out of my sight. Sit down. Sit down. Listen to me, Shulian. understand what you're trying to say, all right? You are a wise woman, so please don't make things hard for me. Whatever it is that you're thinking, don't show it on your face, all right? Especially not at home in front of father and grandmother. Father has had a hard life. I just don't want to upset him is all. But you don't mind making me upset. Wait, Sholien, what are you going to do? That's not what I meant. What's the matter with you? Talk to me, please. Of course I don't want to see you get upset. I won't bring this up again, at least not for now. Now that's the girl I know. That's the loving wife that I married. Let's... But you still have to find a new place to build a house. A house for whom? For us, Shawan. Who else? What the heck are you thinking? We just started to produce bricks for our brick kiln business. Let's talk about this next year when we have the money. You said it's going to be this year, so why say next I year? I forgot, because it's been very busy. How can you remember anything? You've never even thought about it in the first place. Shawan, I'm telling you. Let's just use the income we're going to make in this business to build our own house. This headache is really bad. Stop acting like you have a headache. Every time you mention building our own house, my headache's like it just wants to explode. You liar! I'll keep on talking about it. I mean, look, we've stayed in that animal shed for a few years already. I don't have a home of my own. Why I've is that? I've thought about this, okay? Listen, if you want us to build a new home, it has to be a decent one. We don't have a lot of money right now, so we can't accomplish that much. So how much money do we have right now? Shawan, are you done with the accounting? Yeah, okay. Let me discuss this with you. The cost of building the three brick houses you want for your own peace of mind. Each house needs at least six skilled workers. Four unskilled ones get assigned to each. That means three times six equals 18 skilled workers. Four times six is 24 unskilled workers. And each skilled worker is paid five yuan. While unskilled workers, two yuan. Just labor cost alone is 138 yuan. Each set of door and windows from buying materials and the cost of workmanship is 150 yuan. That's 450 in total. We will be needing 5,000 cents of lime, two fen per cent, which would amount to 100. Okay, Food okay, fine, stop day. it. You don't need to tell me that. You asked me to calculate, but stop me from speaking? Just tell me straight whether we have enough money for it. Well, not nearly enough, all right? We'll borrow the rest. Listen, I absolutely refuse to borrow money again. If we're not going to borrow, how can we build a new house? Do you really want to have a new house? Yes, of course. Well, actually, I have an idea. Come on, tell me, Shawan. Here's what we can do. We can build a three clay house for us. Then put brick outlets in them. When completed, this clay house would look luxurious and it's not any inferior to rock or brick houses. After you put in the brick outlets, you add capping bricks. It's less costly and we save on bricks. That's a great idea, Shawan. Go discuss this with your father later. What? Why would I discuss this thing with my father? Why wouldn't you? He's old and I'm afraid he would think that just after making a little money, we would start building our new house for the both of us. You're going to do the talking or me? Of course you'll do the talking. It's easier for the son to tell him than the daughter-in-law for sure. And if your father doesn't approve it, he might think that I'm impolite and ill-mannered. If my father doesn't approve, then don't ever mention this again, you hear me? 
Your father is more considerate than you are. I don't like talking to you when you're like this. Well, same here. I'll discuss this with him soon. When we're not busy at our brick business, all right? Hurry up! What's wrong? Why'd you drop those? You can't even do that? Bring those slabs there. Let's do this. The heavy stone slab on his shoulders almost crushed Saint Xiaoping to the ground. Sweat ran like rivulets down his face, but he couldn't afford to wipe them all away. Sweat stung his eyes as if fire had seared them. With his eyes half closed, he walked on legs trembling as if like a sifting chaff, at risk of falling over at any time. At this moment, nothing in this world existed. His thoughts were focused only on one thing and one thing alone, walking forward, carrying the stone slabs to where the house is being reinforced. Taking it there seemed like an impossibility, but in his mind, Sen Xiaoping was determined to overcome the insurmountable odds he is currently facing, even though his body was dangerously close to its breaking point. Meal time, everyone! Meal time! Meal time! Meal time! More, I want more. It's too little, is that enough? Eat enthusiastically or you will go nuts! Eating Let's serious eat, business. everyone! Fill my bowl this time. Mrs. Tao, what's for lunch? Nothing great, just enough to fill your belly. Newcomer, go to the back! Hey, if you cut in line, you won't get your wages. So what if he's new? He shouldn't be bullied! <laughs> You're the branch secretary's wife. Everyone will listen to you. Go to the end of the line! Oh. Come on, let's go. Thank you. My body's falling apart. Are you full now? Not yet. I can eat two more bowls. Get a larger bowl next time, just like mine. That's small. People at work sites don't eat like you do. First round, Mrs. Cow serves. You'll have to fight for the next round if you can do it. You're finished. Get her bigger bowl. Don't be modest around here. Thank you. Hey, let's call it a day. We're done. All right. <laughs> Are you injured? Let me take a look at your back. It looks pretty bad. I'm all right. What did you do before? I... I used to labor often at home. If you ask me, a flimsy person like you, boy, doesn't look like someone who does heavy work. Just look at your hands. They're more delicate than mine. I used to... Teach in the village, man. But I've always worked in the fields. I'm not sure that you can endure this heavy work. Ma'am, I can take it! I can do it!
Hey, I don't think you know how to carry those stone slabs. All right, I'll tell you. Use your shoulders to carry it, okay? Not your back. The flesh in your shoulders is a lot thicker. It's okay if it's rubbed raw. The back is all bones. When bones rub against stones, you bleed easily. Brother, can you teach me more? Listen, Mrs. Cow may end up firing you. If you get hurt out there, she has to bear the responsibility. The first three days are always the most crucial. If the employer is not satisfied, you will get fired immediately. If she really does fire me, then I don't have a choice. I can just get another job. What else do you think I can do? Well, show me your wound first. It's all right. Let me take a look. Oh, don't bother. I don't have any bad intentions. I'm just worried. Do you know that when wounds get infected, they fester real quickly? That's dangerous. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't trust you. I know you're doing this for my own good. I just don't want to show it. You know what? When tigers are injured, they lick their wounds in secret. But you're not a tiger, you're you're just a stubborn idiot. Psst. Xiaoping, mm. you should drink porridge this way. There's a technique. Place your upper lip at the edge of the bowl here and suck a mouthful. See, half the bowl's in my belly now. Take another mouthful. See, the bowl is completely clean. Give it a try. Place the upper lip at the edge yeah, of the bowl. Yeah, the edge of the bowl. One <sighs> mouthful. Yeah, that's right, try again. What do you think? <laughs> hey! Put that down, put that down, do put it. that down! What's put wrong? Put that down. Mrs. Cow said put it down. I can do it, ma'am. Young man, everyone is still eating, but here you are working. But I'm done eating, ma'am. She said put it down, so put it down. Listen, young man, I don't think I can let you work here anymore. Ma'am, please let me stay. I don't loaf around. She said she'll let you go. Pack up and leave now! Wait! Hold on. Let him drill blast holes. What? Drill blast holes! We don't need many people to do that. Swap one over. Do you have a problem? I know. Those people drilling blast holes are your relatives. Do you dare disobey? <laughs> I won't disobey you. I'm just worried he can't handle it. Well, he said he used to be a teacher. He's a smart boy. He'll learn quickly. Yes, ma'am. I can do it. Then come on, come with me. Let's go. Right, Thank go you. On. Drill blast holes. Why suddenly promote that kid? Mrs. Chow must have taken a fancy to that good-looking boy toy and can't bear to see him suffer. <laughs> Drilling blast holes isn't as good as carrying stone slabs. Drilling blast holes is easier. Switching him with one of the foreman's relatives will surely offend the foreman. He won't let it pass. I'd be surprised if he doesn't torture him. He's going to have a hard time. <laughs> Xiaoping, hurry up with that. Everyone's waiting. It's your fault if it gets delayed. Yes, sir. Be careful! Get it done quickly! Come on, come on. Let's go back to Shelton. Hurry. So, Xiaoping, where are you going? Taking shelter. How many have you drawn today? The whole, sir. You must finish drilling 30 today! But you're lagging behind! 
The rain's no issue. Others can wreck while you continue. What are you looking at? Carry on! is not here today. She has gone to a meeting at the commune. Therefore, I, the foreman, have added to uh -huh. meat for everyone. <laughs> what a treat. Just don't curse me behind my back, okay? Here. <laughs> Wait, what about Xiaoping? What about Xiaoping? Leave him some food. Just eat your meal. I worry about him. Go on. Okay, next. his very best to boost his spirits, he thought about the fact that he did not come here to this place to enjoy himself. He had to continue to live in this city, he thought. Everything about his life in the past was history now. He thought about the youths who were like him during wartime. How many of them faced death and famine each and every single day? But it was already a time of peace. And he was, at the most, just enduring some hardship. There was no threat of death. He thought, compared to death, he was standing here safely and was ready for work and life. Wasn't this also a kind of happiness? He knew that happiness wasn't just about having sufficient food to eat and clothes to wear, but also courageously overcoming hardship. Despite everything that has happened, he thought he is still lucky. This kind of self-consolation helped Sen Xiaoping find a little peace in his heart. He began to make plans for what he had to do now. Let's go, Xiaoping. Okay. Slowly. Did you check everything? No one's around? I did. No one's around. Well, then fire away. Step aside. Move, move! What happened here, huh? Mr. Foreman and Xiao Ping are inside! Are they alright? They're fine, they're still alive, they can, they can still talk, sir! Well, what are you waiting for? Move the rock! Get them out of here! Oh, come on! It's good they're both okay. I was just taking a poop somewhere. And that was worth blasting? Goodness. Xiao Ping. In the future, you'll be just like me. <laughs> it's a good thing nothing bad happened to hey, you. Hey, all of you bumps should learn from Xiao Ping, okay? Yes, sir. He's you a bet role model. Yes, sir. Of course. <laughs> oh my, this has been an important thing for me too. 
Now that you've earned some money through hard work, I couldn't be happier to see you build a place for yourselves. That's a great idea. So how can I disagree? You see, didn't I tell you, Shawan? Father is more considerate than Will you. Will you stop mocking me already? Hey, stop that. Father, have Thanks. some more. Thank you. Well, I was thinking that building a rock house would be too costly. So a clay house will do just fine. Of course it will. Hey, but Chawan, a clay house is all about craftsmanship. You have to find an expert and hire workers. We have one in the village, father. Jing Wun is known to build the best clay house in town. Jin Jing Wun? Yes. You wouldn't be able to get him to come here, even if he paid him 10 yuan, not to mention 5 yuan. Why is that? Why is that? Why, oh, come on, don't you know? Huh? His eldest son, Jin Fu, has made it big already. His family quickly prospered, you know. You wouldn't care to hoots about 80 or 100 yuan. Haven't you seen him wandering around in his brand new clothes all the time? Huh? When there is a market fair on the Shikiji People's Commune, he'd wander leisurely wearing that. He even goes to that restaurant run by Huda Fu to drink two tails of liquor and eat a large dish of pig's head meat. <laughs> he absolutely lives like a king now. Really? If I go ask him now, do you think he would give me some face? I think he would. You've got face. It would be best if you could connect with him. Uh, I've always wanted to build a new house for my family, Father. I dream about it often. Now it's finally coming true. That's right. Do it as quickly as possible. <sighs> Shawan. As the old saying goes, three generations of prosperity and three of decline. Ever since our family moved here to Shuangshui village, we have lived a life that's not been easy for any of us. I didn't live a good life, but by your generation, people regard you as the cream of the crop. You should live an increasingly prosperous life, my boy. Father, why do you put it like that? Without you laying the foundation for us, our family would still be languishing in this poor valley until now. Especially Uncle Utien. If it wasn't for you, Father, he wouldn't be able to feed his family. How dare he come to work just now? What is this land? This is just like a person's face. If you treat it nicely, it makes you look good. If you treat it badly, it definitely disgraces you. Look at his land parcel. It's like dog scraping. How can you grow crops there? This is really bothering me a lot. Hey, Uncle! Hey, show on! Is it time to eat now? Yeah. 